I recently returned from a nine day trip in Europe where I went from Rome to Barcelona this past August. Before I left, I posted a packing video of everything that I packed for that trip. Now that video, as well as the vlogs from my trip, I've already been posted and I'll leave links of those in the description box below if you wanted to check them out. But in today's video, I wanted to go over the three things that I'm so glad that I brought on that trip and then three things that I wish I would have packed. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that I'm so glad that I brought on this trip, I didn't actually show in that packing video. It was in the video, but you wouldn't have seen it or known that it was in the video, and that is shoe inserts. So I have a couple different shoe inserts. These are both from Dr. Scholl's, and I think shoe inserts are fabulous. Regardless if your shoes are really cheap, or really expensive, I think having extra padding and cushion and the arch support comes in so handy, especially when you're traveling and you're going to be walking 20,000 steps a day. So for our trip, we were walking from the train station to our hotel and then to all the different sites and then from our hotel to the train station and then standing there waiting for the train at the train station. So we were constantly on our feet pretty much from the time we woke up to the time we went to bed. So having these shoe inserts provided just so much support and extra cushion that really saved my feet. And everyone else on the trip just struggled by the end of each day with their feet hurting so badly, but I was fine because I had shoe inserts. So if you watched my packing video, you would have seen that I packed four pairs of shoes, two sneakers, and two sandals. For my sneakers, I just packed one pair of shoe inserts and I would just remove the shoe inserts from one set of sneakers and put them in the other sneakers. Whichever one I was wearing that day, I would obviously put the shoe inserts in that pair and just alternate every other day between sneakers to help kind of save my feet uh, from soreness, getting used to one pair of shoes, the rubbing, blisters, all of that. So shoe inserts definitely are a must when you are traveling for long periods of time that you're going to be walking or standing. The second item that I'm so glad I packed was a bunch of band-aids, or if you don't have that name brand, adhesive bandages. Now I know you can purchase those in pretty much any city that you travel to. I was just thankful that I packed a bunch already just because my trip was so fast paced, we were on the go, and if I randomly cut myself or really what I use them for, for getting blisters. So my sneakers, I've worn plenty of times, they're broken in, but they are not used to being on my feet for a extended period of time where I'm walking 20,000 steps in combination with the heat since it was August, summertime, just that friction, the heat, swelling, everything happening is a perfect recipe for blisters forming on your feet. So having a bunch of those definitely came in handy. And the third item that I'm so thankful that I brought on this trip was actually a last minute purchase that I purchased a couple days before my trip, and that is the Apple AirTag. So I was reading articles and watching the news with the increase of travelers taking vacations the airports were so short staff that they were losing luggage or the luggage was extremely delayed for passengers at their final destination. And I didn't want to risk having my luggage lost on the way to this trip or on the way home. So I invested in an Apple AirTag, the Bluetooth tracker, so I can put in my suitcase and keep track of where my suitcase is. Now I pack carry-on only, so I'm not checking a bag, but with more and more travelers packing carry-on only and some smaller planes have limited overhead bin space, airlines are asking then those who are in a later boarding position to gate check their bags. And this happened to people in my, are on my flights 
for each flight that I had. I was never one that was asked to gate check my bag, so I was able to carry it on on my Nashville Atlanta, Atlanta to Rome, and then on the way back, Barcelona, I had a connecting flight in Amsterdam, and that was the one airport that I was actually the most anxious about because it's one of the top airports in the news that is notorious for delaying and or losing luggage. So I was a little nervous, even though that was on my trip home and it's not as important. Ultimately, I didn't have to check my bag. I was able to carry on on all legs and parts of my trip. But it gave me peace of mind knowing that if that happened, I could keep track and monitor where my suitcase was. So those were three things that I'm so happy that I did pack. Now let's talk about the three things that I wish I would have packed. This first item, I kick myself for not packing. I don't know why I didn't pack it. In previous packing videos, I show you that I pack it. I have a space, a pocket on my backpack and my personal item dedicated for this item specifically, and that is an umbrella. I have about five to six umbrellas in my apartment, my vehicle, my office at work. Don't ask me why. I have a lot of umbrellas. I don't like being caught out in the rain without, I just like being prepared. Now on my trip, it really didn't rain, but the second to last day, it did rain for about two hours. And luckily I was in a location for that period that was covered, so I was not caught in the rain. But it was a point where, man, I wish I would have packed my umbrella in case I wanted to go out and about and go more sightseeing and not be caught up in the rain and get soaking wet. Again, you can purchase an umbrella at other cities, but if you're like me and you have five to six umbrellas already, there's no reason to buy another one. I have too many that I, I don't need another one. And again, it worked out that I didn't need it, but I wish, I don't know why I didn't, I wish I would have packed my umbrella. The second item that I wish I would have packed is a second power bank. So this is my away power bank. I did pack this one, but I wish I would have packed a second one. In the hotels, I shared my hotel room with someone else. There are just limited outlets or plugins to charge your devices. So between me and my roommate, we were trying to charge each a cell phone, each a power bank, and sometimes we both had our laptops or other devices, but we didn't have that many outlets to be charging all of those devices every night. Sometimes we would only have two outlets, so we had to choose what we were going to be charging. And if you wanted to have a full cell phone charge and a full power bank charge for the next day, for each day of your travels, it was a struggle. If I were to bring a second power bank, then I could alternate which grabbing the fully charged power bank and charging the other one during the day when my roommate and I were not in the hotel and not fighting for outlet space. So that is another item I wish I would have bought it would be a second power bank just to be able to alternate since there was such limited charging. Now, the third item I wish I would have brought, I don't actually own. Now, <laughs> I got a lot of comments on my packing video from people commenting that the clothes and the outfits that I was packing really showcase that I'm American. Yes, I'm an American. I live in the United States, so my outfits do reflect that. I appreciate all of those who were commenting because they were concerned that it would make me stand out as a tourist and I would be targeted for it. So I appreciate all of those who were concerned. But for those commenters that were just saying my outfits looked American just to be negative, good for you and your negative comments. But this third item has nothing to do with wishing I would have packed non-American outfits. It's actually, I wish I would have packed water shoes. So I don't actually own water shoes. I did when I was younger, but I do not as an adult. And the reason why I wish I would have packed them is we went to a handful of beaches and most of the beaches that we went to and in Europe are pebble or rock beaches. Whereas in the United States, majority, if not all of our beaches are sandy, all of the beaches that we went to on this trip were a pebble rock situation and my delicate feet were a little bruised after walking on the rock so make fun of me if you want but had i had water shoes that would have made walking in and out of the water 
way more tolerable and pleasant than with my bare, fe bare feet. So I wish I would have packed water shoes, but I survived the trip without it and had an enjoyable time, so it was fine. So those are some of the items that I'm so glad that I packed and some of the items that I wish I would have packed. Comment down below if there's an item that you forgot to pack for one of your trips. What did you forget and how did that impact your trip? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.